Hello, you're very welcome once again to my channel. It's Roshan Curie here with more sketches for you from my 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 little outings around the place. And this time I've got a fun one for you, I hope, because I've just come back from Nancy in the east of France, where my husband and I spent a long weekend visiting our son Paddy, who is studying over there in the what is it called? The University of Lorraine. And he's on the Erasmus programme. Paddy's doing engineering and he's spending six months over there. And we took the opportunity to go and visit him and spend a really, really pleasant few days with him. Now, um, when you're when you're in a little, you know, tight situation like that, you're sharing cups of coffee with your family or you're trying to grab a moment, you know, when you've only got maybe half an hour, three quarters of an hour between visits to somewhere else. It really helps to have all your sketching stuff at the ready. So I have this little bag that I was, I've, to, I've spoken to you before about this cool little bag. It's my sketch pocket um, and it is just a little bag. But when you open it up, it has all the bits and pieces in it that you would need to do a sketch. It looks kind of like one of those, you know, when those salesmen whip open their coat and they've got like a whole load of gold watches. <laughs> well, that's kind of what it is. So my uh, sketchbook fits in here. Now, um, that's my map. Yeah, I actually used a paper map. It was very useful. Um, now, this is a prototype and uh, the samples are coming back from the factory actually this week. So the one big difference that we have made is that the pocket will face up on the one that's coming this week. So the, the sketchbook will be a little bit less inclined to fall out. So that was a bit of an oversight on my part. But it's got everything from your, your magnetic clips that you use to, to hold your paint box up against your I don't want to open it to any sketches because I want to show you them but basically you can I think I, sh I have shown this before but you can put everything you can put your entire box of paints look at, like that on your on your sketchbook if you're standing up um, and the whole thing can be done without bending down which is which is great um, so for example you've got all your little water brushes here and you can paint without having to bend down. And you, you, you guys might know by now, but I'm a, I'm a lunatic for Fude pens. I really love 55 degree Fude pens. Um, and everything you, you see in this sketchbook here, this little sketch tour of Nossi, was done in a food, sorry, Fude pen, uh, Fude pen, um, watercolor paint and uh, waterproof ink. So again, I have my favorites. Hang on, let me just show you my, this is my second little, little box of watercolors. This one is super granulating color. Sorry, it's a bit, it's a bit mucky. I haven't cleaned it. But um, the nice thing about the super granulating color, and I'll talk about it in another video sometime, is that the colors are very, very soft. So sometimes if you're feeling a little bit underconfident, you can go in with these colors and you won't make something too, too bright. And here, is this my box of paints? Yeah, here's my box of paints that I use. So, whoops. This is my little box of Roman Schmal colors. Normally you get 12 colors in a box, but with the ones that I provide, I supply, you get 13. There's a good reason for that, as you'll know if you look at my other videos. Okay, so let's get stuck in, and I hope you enjoy the little sketch tour that I'm about to show you. We flew into Luxembourg Airport because Nossi is a little bit tricky to get to and we picked up our hire car, a very fancy BMW, which was a free upgrade. Gotta love a free upgrade. And Paddy sat at the front because he wasn't feeling the best and the back was a little bit on the tight, uncomfortable side. Kind of a sports car vibe going on. But uh, it gave me the chance to draw him and of course I was happy with that. Now we stayed in a hotel that was very, very central right next to the cathedral. And we were beside this really lovely bar called the Georgette that has only been open a few months and it's just great. And the staff are so friendly. So I sat and drew the bar on our first night while Paddy took it easy in the hotel. And I drew the charcuterie board and all that kind of stuff. And the bar was most conveniently located right beside our hotel, which had this gorgeous old fashioned feel to it. Here's the hotel itself. I made this little movie in the night and forgot to make one during the day, but never mind. It looks very romantic in the dark. Um, and I sat in the lobby one morning when the lads were still asleep and I drew the beautiful stone staircase that was cantilevered 
um, and swirling up around in a spiral shape. Just so evocative and so beautiful. The hotel was real kind of um, faded grandeur, that kind of a vibe, which I absolutely love. You can just about make out Paddy sitting on the sofa when he came down to me. One of the places that we stumbled across to eat was this pastrami sandwich bar called Pickles. And it's just gorgeous. The pastrami is so delicious. And I got chatting with the guy who runs the place, P. U. and a really lovely fella he is too. Very entrepreneurial and has done an absolutely amazing job on not just the food, which is divine, but also the branding, the whole lot. Um, and so I went back in the afternoon to draw his shop display window, his window display, because it was so cool. And it was also a very handy way of storing his pickles. OK, well, this is a sad story, but it has a happy ending. There's this fabulous square in Nancy called Place Stanislas. My dear husband, Marcel and I, we went there for coffee one morning and uh, very quickly afterwards it started raining. But by then I'd already started my sketch, so I had to do something with it. Um, and so I made all the people in the front kind of purple. Which, of course, in itself isn't going to fix your sketch, but the sun did come out a little bit and dried up um, and all the people who disappeared. Well, I didn't get them back again, but I did get lots of passers-by in the square, including the pigeon that you can see on the front. Now, anyone who spent any length of time in France will know that there's not a huge amount of things to do on a Sunday. You're supposed to be hanging out with your family and hang out with my family. I did. But since I don't have a home there, I'm a tourist, we had to go to a cafe and it was a very pleasant cafe. And there was a nice waiter who said, un joli petit café crème, every time he gave you a coffee, which is all very, very lovely. And I enjoyed sketching it very much. As I was sketching the lady on the right there with her book, Marcel said to me, so what are you doing trying to sketch that lady? And why aren't you drawing now? And I said, you have to wait for her to settle. And he said, oh, you mean a bit like a mosquito? And I said, yeah, kind of like a mosquito. So he was quite pleased with this, this idea and was delighted when she did indeed appear to settle and I was able to catch her. Now, this pair of uh, sketches of people I think it's one of my favourite sketches for a very long time. We'll start with the ladies on the left. Now, they were sitting at the table next to us. And France, as anybody who's spent any length of time in France will know, France is full of people who are most keen on smoking. And whilst in Spain, they will get up and go away from the terrace if they want to have a cigarette. In France, they don't do that. So rather than get annoyed as we ate our quiche Lorraine and our hamburger while they were smoking away next to us, I decided, you know what, I'll just sketch these ladies instead. And they were very, very lovely with their red lips and their red accented accessories. And they were very, very cool. They were a little bit sunken cheek bony because of all the cigarettes, but they were very, very cool French ladies. And I was delighted, delighted to draw them. Then I was left with a blank space on the left hand side sorry the other way around on the right hand side and I could have left it white but then I had the perfect opportunity to fill it in with this fantastic monsieur who I'm sure was quite the um the Casanova in his day and he's very very uh, debonair to this day he had a natty suit on in a dark dark blue and he had an orange silk square in his breast pocket and he had an orange and blue silk cravat and a sort of a stylish sort of length of hair and he was smoking a big fat cigar. He had a little cigar clippers in his hand as well and he had deep burnt orange socks. This man had put a lot of care and attention into his look and he looked fantastic. And there he was reading his paper with his trim beard and I loved sketching him. I was very happy to catch him and I hope he wasn't too perturbed by having this foreign person looking up at him every couple of seconds. Now, Place Stanislas has been really beautifully renovated over the last 20 years or so and it looks gorgeous and these buildings are just so fantastic now I'm not suggesting for a minute that they've been renovated they are as the good lord intended them all those years ago and I sat at one of the bars had a very nice beer and I drew this beautiful arch and our paddy loves the view through this arch where you can see an avenue of beautiful coppiced trees and we took a little walk through that arch. Paddy said come on we'll go down here I want to show you how lovely it is and to our delight and joy wasn't there a vintage car kind of rally full of beautiful French vintage cars all the way back to the early 20th century and some of the cars were so evocative of a bygone age of France 
that some of us, some of us of the of a particular vintage were lucky enough to witness firsthand. And I know when I came to France for the first time in the early 70s, and I was only a very small girl, but I was blown away by the beauty of the women. And they were all natural. They were all natural. And they were fabulous. And their little mini dresses and their huge platform shoes and their piled high hair and their confidence and their swagger. I thought they were beautiful. And they're still absolutely lovely. Now, the lovely Peo of Pickles restaurant made us a gift when we paid our last visit to his place. And he gave us this bottle of hot sauce, which I'm very excited to try, and a bag of homemade paprika chips. Um, I also bought some um, cheese in the market, some Conte, and some sausage in the market. And I was very happy to wrap them all up and put them in my suitcase and bring them home. Because that way I get to enjoy them twice. Once through sketching and then through eating. The last morning we were in Nossi, we were all ready to go and we had one hour before we'd have to hit the road and make our way to the airport. And Marcel wanted to go and buy something, but I didn't. I wanted to grab a last sketch. And that's why I'm very happy with this particular little drawing. It's one of the fountains in the corner of the square in Place Stanislas. Now, it's not that much to look at, but the sun came out and I stood there with my sketch pocket over my shoulder and I did the whole thing in half an hour flat, paint, pen, everything, the lot. And if I'd had another half hour, I would have got a really quite detailed sketch in. But not to worry, I got a lot more done than I could possibly have got in if I'd been looking for a table to sit down and all the rest of it and all the shenanigans that go with all of that. So I really have to tell you, sketch pocket worked a treat. And it's the reason I got so much sketching done in just four days. Here's a couple of brief seconds of the fountain itself. Isn't it gorgeous? I hope you've enjoyed this little sketch exhibition, this little sketch tour of Nancy in France. And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Thank you so much for watching. And now, as ever, I wish you happy sketching.